So I recently received a care package in the mail from Super Rare Games. The fine folks over there were kind enough to send out a couple games to check out. So in today's video, we're going to be looking at Little Inferno and the Sexy Brutal. I love saying that name. Sorry. I can't resist. Coming up right after the break. First, let's start with the unboxing experience, so to speak. So we get your clamshell Nintendo Switch case inside the game, of course. Here's something you hardly ever see nowadays is an actual physical booklet. Bare bones, but still, the fact that there's a physical booklet, that is something I truly, truly miss about video games nowadays. But all Super Rare games also come with a Super Rare sticker, no pun intended, as well as some little trading card type things. So we have one just has the title super rare on the back and then we, whoa, we have some little character trading cards. So this is sugar plumps. This is your next door neighbor that you converse with through the fire. Again has the super rare logo on the back. Then we have the weatherman, another guy that communicates with you throughout the game. And then we have this nice little image of your character looking out to the snowy abyss. So that's what you get. So let's go ahead and check out some gameplay. Little Inferno is a truly unique gameplay experience to say the least. With gameplay centering around throwing random toys, household items, and the occasional nuclear device into your Little Inferno fireplace to watch it burn. Using the Nintendo Switch's touchscreen or the Joy-Cons, players will drag random items into the fire and watch them burn, and reward the gamer with more money to buy even more new things, only to once again throw those new items into the fireplace and burn them. Because, well, video game logic. Honestly though, as simple as the premise is, there are lots of puzzle combinations to discover while you eviscerate all your worldly possessions into flames. Well over 90 hidden combos are waiting to be discovered by you, each with their own unique attributes. The story unfolds through communications and letters received from your next door neighbor, the weatherman, and others that give you periodic updates on the going-ons in the world. The art style has a very Tim Burton feel to it, and when players advance far enough into the game, where they actually move away from their respective fireplace, they will no doubt see those similarities. I honestly fully expected to get bored with this game after a while, but the urge to uncover all the hidden item combos grabbed a hold of me and I found myself plowing through the game until completion, and I was glad I did as the unique game was a fun experience for me from beginning to end. Next up we have The Sexy Brutal, again inside you have the physical game as well, and the booklet, again can't say enough about the fact that we're getting an actual booklet these days. Tells you a little bit about the characters that you're trying to save throughout the game. Nice little handy form factor goes in there. Again, all Super Rare games come with a Super Rare sticker. And then the trading cards. So let's open these up. See what we got. So we've got the logo card, the Sexy Brutal. Then we've got some character cards. We've got Reginald Sixpence, a little brief description. Then we have Lefkadio Boom, your main character, the priest that you're trying to save the day with. And then we have this luchador looking fella right here. So those are the trading cards you get with your Sexy Brutal Super Rare Games order. So let's go ahead and play some Sexy Brutal and save some people from getting murdered. Sexy Brutal is the culmination of what you get when you cross the movie Groundhog Day with the game of Clue. Stuck in an endless time loop of murder and mayhem, you must work to save the patrons inside this casino mansion from meeting a ghastly fate by solving puzzles and manipulating the environments around you. You'll pick up various items and collectibles in the game that help you advance and interact with the objects within rooms in certain areas of the mansion. Stylish visuals, up-tempo jazz, environmental sound effects, and other eerie music accompany you throughout this game as you follow the guests around the mansion and try to decipher a way to prevent their untimely demise. To further the complexity of the puzzles, the added time-sensitive nature of it all increases the urgency for you as well as the key detail that your main character needs to remain out of sight from the guest while you attempt to solve the puzzles. You'll be able to unlock new masks and powers for your character throughout the game that will aid you in your race against time and death. 
fans of whodunit scenarios and puzzle games will no doubt enjoy this game and their stay at the Sexy Brutal. Overall, I had a great time playing both these games, and surprisingly, the one game I thought I was probably not going to like, Little Inferno, ended up being my favorite one out of the two. However, both games were great in my opinion. If you're interested in anything Super Rare Game is going to be releasing in the future, or any of their back catalog, I'll go ahead and put product link information down in the video description box below so you can check it out, and I highly recommend you do because I gotta love and support everybody that is releasing physical media in this day and age because it's a dying breed, so props to them and support them if you can because again physical media is king and it should always be king and it's definitely something you guys should always try to pick up and invest in if possible at least in my opinion anyways that does it for this video if you're new to this channel please make sure you hit that like button share this video with your friends if you found the information helpful and if you're new to the channel please consider subscribing for more great nerdy content just like this and as always thanks for watching guys it really means a lot